Hey everybody, it's Tyler with Gaia Force Gaming, and I'm here with Dan from Gaia Force Gaming, and we are right at the heels of Top Cut's Ultimate Cup, uh, just wrapped up, and we all got our final placings. Some of us a little happier than others, but why don't, why don't you say hi to everybody, Dan? Hi everybody, Dan. <laughs> uh, so today, Dan went seven and one. In the Ultimate Cup, you ended up, what, 7th place? Yes, 7th, nice. yes. Nice, nice, nice. So we're going to talk about the deck he played and his matchups. And you, got, you guys know the drill by now. So, Dan, what did you play? How did it go? Let it, lay it on us. Uh, would have liked to play Imperial, but, you know, without the Stigmon, it's kind of unfortunate. So we had to revert to a different Vimon-style deck, the Ulforce deck. All right, so you played Ulforce Vidramon. Uh, yes. Now, for those of you who don't know, um, the Ultimate Cups do have a special set of rules, uh, which can be found, uh, if I remember to link it in the thing below. If not, you can just check it out on the Digimon website under events for the July, June, July, August Ultimate Cups, uh, and mm -hmm. they'll tell you all about it. So it was single-color deck building. There was a couple more extra band-restricted cards, but for the most part, the single-color deck building is the biggest thing. And, yeah, well, tell us about your list, and then we can go through your matchups and what you liked about the deck. Sure. Um, so I'm just playing four eggs. For me personally, <clears throat> I'm just playing the four Wanyamons. Um, I, I do need the card draw, I won't lie to you. <laughs> I know some people are running the Baby Domon to get the plus 1k, which is very good as well. But for me personally, um, I just need the card draw. I'm like, there's been plenty of games, and my opponents will know too, I'm like... I'm digging for a tamer. I just need one more card. Like I'm, I'm digging for the missing piece. The card draw helps me a lot, so I really like this as opposed to the baby doe one. If I, if I do, I can add like that as a fifth egg, if anything. But preferably, these are the four that I want to run for now. We'll go through the rookies. I think this is pretty standard for old force decks. We're doing four of the BT11 Vmon and four of the EX1 Vmons. I feel these are mandatory for the old force decks to pick up top. Uh, pieces right um for the vmons though they're ex1 just unsuspend gain of memory i feel like this is very valuable as a vmon um yeah that's pretty standard for me for the rest of my rookies though i ran two madoki and one sayako i don't think the madokis ever came up today but if um I'm trying to think no they don't they never came up today because they got popped by one of my gallant the one of the gallant players but the sayako actually came up once I tucked this in just in case to, you know, technically both of these in. Go against Memory Boost and, like, Bloom Lord shenanigans, but this actually came up against the uh, Red Hybrid player I played today who was trying to um, go into Aldemon, but he couldn't reduce the cost, so I got really lucky there. Um, we'll go to level fours. Uh, you know, debatable. The, some people like the Leomon package, some people don't, so I'm running three Leomons. Uh, three, oh, sorry, four of the BT11 Vidramons and two hybrid Kumamons. Um, tip, these hybrids before were Lanamons, but I switched on to Kumamon after getting thrashed uh, by Muhammad playing Machine Dramon the other night. Um, so I was like, I need to strip some stuff because that would, it gets very annoying. Um, hybrids always good. I jump back and forth. I used to have three hybrids, but I just have the two for now. Leomons didn't come up as much as I'd like to today. Um, so maybe this could be a third hybrid. I mean, they don't have Inherits anyway. But I, I never had a chance to Digivolve into Leo and choke anybody today that I remember. I think it was always... I was at like three or four and I was like, I could hard play a Leo Mon. But it, it didn't feel great sometimes. Um, also, I'm not running any Jerry's. So you will not see that in this profile. Uh, running four of the, I guess, the good Arrow Vigimon that can find Tamers and the Three-star deck ones. This is just pick your poison. These are the best ones we got for now for level fives. Um, this, but every time I use this today, I think only only two occasions where it actually paid off. One actually got double arena, which was crazy, and one got I think a V Tamer tie or a Davis or something. But every other time, just like Damemon and Hunters, you just reveal three and you just bottom deck them. It's okay. Um, Jamming is nice sometimes. This did come in handy, but this is pretty pretty standard for the old force deck. 
Uh, I did find myself getting into this guy sometimes, but not having enough cards to get the sec plus one, unfortunately. I'd be at like six or seven, or I'd have eight, but I'd evolve to old force and I'd have to play the tamer to unsuspend and do shenanigans, and I'd have like seven in hand. Sometimes it's a little, it's a little unfortunate, but that's, that's how it works sometimes. Uh, four old force Vidramon. Uh, one, oh, sorry, two old force X. Can't count today, guys. Sorry. Um, I feel like this is a nice ratio, especially for Ultimate Cup rules. Remember, this is all Ultimate Cup rules. Otherwise, there'd be a little, little extra, a little different. Uh, maybe addition of a level seven Merciful mode, but this is pretty standard. Um, Old Force X was very clutch today. Um, I did make a mistake in earlier game. One of them where I was swinging this guy, and I was like, oh. I didn't have anything else to play to unspend him. That was unfortunate. The 12k threshold is tough in this format because a lot of level 6 or boss monsters are 12k or higher. So sometimes having that V-Tamer tie to make it 13 helps a lot. I think uh, that's why some people will run the Baby Doe to get that plus 1k or they run the Dra Dracomon to get plus 1k in here just to kind of boost it to get it out of range. Because there was plenty of times where I've swung into security and if I'm lucky enough I, I can unsuspend... But then I hit a 12k and I gotta suspend to evade, otherwise it's gone. We'll talk options. We got a Ice Wall, a Rattlestar, a Great Maelstrom, and two Blue Membus. Um, Shoutouts to Nan for recommending the Rattlestar. It did come in handy today, one time against Quartz. Uh, very good against Quartz if you plan, if you know you're gonna face some Bloom. Because it goes a little wide, and Quartz, when it locks you, like, it's really your only two outs. I don't know what else you can do. Um, to bottom deck it. <laughs> so these are two options for that. Two Memboos, just a search. We don't want to bottom deck our Tamers, which does happen often. And just the one Ice Wall that I always jump back and forth if I need to add it or cut it, but I think it came in handy, I think, twice today. Just trying to pass your opponent or choke them to one does help still. Um, tamers, we got the four Arenas. Should not run any less. They are pricey. That is the only reason why I'm, not everyone can play this deck. Um, I run four Arenas, three Davises, three V Tamer Ties, and two Sora Joes. Sora Joes were very clutch today, and as you can tell, I'm running a little more Source Strip Engine just so um, to fight Machine Dramon, because I had a bad time on Wednesday, or was it Tuesday, earlier in the week. Um, I've seen people cut one, uh, one Davis and one uh, V Tamer Tie for two Jerry's. That's okay too. Uh, I think uh, the the tamer count, as long as you have at least twelve or so tamers, uh, that that's pretty good for the deck. You can pick and choose. I think I added this V tamer tie more because I don't have baby doe to get the power boost, so this is like my power boost if needed. Um, Sword Joe is very clutch still this format. Sword stripping for Machine Dramon. A lot of hybrids just playing a body out, and then you can go. You, it forces them to kind of change their play if they can. Otherwise, they're going to give you a bunch of memory. And Davis just a search, because sometimes I was just missing level 4 or 5, and this helped out a lot. Very nice. Um, and that is the deck profile. I, I feel this deck is pretty standard. There's some different... You could change it up a little bit, but overall, a lot of Old Force decks are very similar, depending on most of the cards. So you know, We'll uh, go over so matchups. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how do you feel about your matchups? How do you feel, like, uh, just about this format in general? Do you think that this... For, for the popular decks, do you think this deck does well into them? I think this deck does do well against, like, Beelzemon. Um, it's okay against Red Hybrid. It's like a still, you know, Red Hybrid is one of those decks where it's like, well, if you got the Atomics and the Gravity Crushes, you got it. I can't stop it. I do think this is very good into a Beelzemon deck, or at least for Ultimate Cup format, I should say, mm -hmm. as well. Um. I think it's I think Bloom is one of the tougher matchups for this, right? Because if they quartz lock you, it's kind of tough. Which is why I have the Rattlestar and the, the Great Maelstrom just in case. But I mean, you still have to see them to get that done. Um, but I think I think it's a healthy choice for uh, for the Ultimate Cup format because it doesn't feel like you have. I would say Machine, in my opinion, Machine Dramon feels like the worst matchup if they just hit the stack. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a little more struggle bus for that one. And then what did you see today? What did you play against the most? Sure. We'll go through all eight rounds. Uh, because of uh, Brian and his opponent, I don't remember the name of the Machine Drum player. My apologies that I don't remember your name. Because they tied, we had eight rounds instead of nine, luckily. Um, we'll go through them all. So round one, 
I play the infamous PPG Brito. Um, we'll skip past that. <laughs> Just couldn't play today. I assume he was going to run Beelzebub though. Um, round two, I lost uh, to Gene. Shoutouts to him. Shadow Gene. He won one of the regionals two weeks ago, I believe. I lost him. He's playing Bielze. We lost. I lost uh, in game. I lost game two and three, I believe. Game two, I made a mistake because I got a little too trigger happy with my old force. I swung and I didn't have a, a way to unsuspend it somehow. And I hit a cluster, so I died. So I got a little too trigger happy. I should have been patient, but that's on me. Uh, round three, I won. I played Dews, um, Red Hybrid. It went to 2 1. So, like I said, it was really close. Um, that's where the Sayako actually came in clutch against the Aldemon. Um, where I think I choked him to one or two and he couldn't really do anything because I had this on board and he couldn't find a burning gray to pop it. The burning gray from BT seven. So I got lucky with that. Um, round four, uh, I faced Justimon. Um, great player. That was, uh, I was very surprised to see Justimon an X one record by round four, but it was good. I think uh, I was just able to capitalize to think game two he played the, uh, it's the BT 10 or it's the BT 10 uh level five that has that gives jamming and then his inherit his reboot he played that and gave me like seven so that was too much uh, round five played against Krasari playing gallant that was a little tough a little tough here um because i swung into their crimson mode in security and that kind of suspended me and i didn't have a way to come back i got lucky on that one round six i played against bloom lord john carlo great player that came down to the wire he quartz locked me i think twice out of three games that was a very hard matchup. I think, um, what was he missing? I think he was missing something. Or he waited one turn. That's what it is. He waited one turn. And I was able to kill him before he could promote, do a kill turn, and do HPD shenanigans. Round seven, I played Old Force Mirror against Mig. Great player as well. Um, we had some back and forths. And then round eight, I played Timu with Beelzemon, which felt a little more comfortable by then because my brain was working a little bit. And I was like, okay, just leave it unsuspended. It has block evade. Don't give him too much memory so he can't pop it. Then it worked out. So pretty healthy. I didn't see any Machine Drum on today, surprisingly. <laughs> so my techs, they still worked out, but I didn't see any Machine Drum on today. That's awesome. I saw one Machine Drum today, and it was during the fake round before the repair. And <laughs> I'm very well, Were you winning the at the time or no? Huh? Were you winning at the time before no. the repair? No, he had oh. the perfect stack out, and I was like, I'm not winning yeah. this first game. And then they're like, repair. Yeah. I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. One, if, if, if a Machine Drum player gets like that, that nice, healthy stack with double protection and like a blocker, and they drop analog, you're in for a rough time. Yeah, there's no. just not much you could do if they got that stack. Yeah. But yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm super stoked you came top eight. I think Old Force is a really fun deck to play, and it's really rewarding. Um, yes it just feels good to play uh i'm glad we got to record another deck profile and yeah the ultimate cup rules are I, I i have a lot of fun with it i think any alternate format is really cool just making you think a little bit different letting other cards get a little time to shine and yeah you got anything to say to close out the video anything you want to tell the people uh shout outs to everyone i played today shout outs to top cut um Eggman and Yoshi for doing the commentary. Commentary was nice. Uh, shout outs to Pink for winning with Machine Dramon. Uh, they won with Machine Dramon today with a little, little, little Ragnorda, Rag, Ragnorda spice at the end. Um, shout outs to the team, Guy Force Gaming. You know, we do the tournaments on Monday evenings. You can get yourself a nice mat, some dice. You get to play against nice people, a community that is very welcoming, and you get to have some fun and some testing. Yeah. Yeah. GFG forever, baby. Um, GFG yeah. forever. Thanks for taking the time to record this. Thank everyone here for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord, play in the events. And uh, most of all, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. We will see you on the next one. Bye.